In fact, farmers are out of business. Because of the galamsey, there is competition between two things. The land that we use for farming, especially cocoa, and the same land is what the galamseys also need for their activities. That is one. Those who are doing the cocoa itself, and those who are doing the galamsey activities. And now those who are doing the galamsey activities are being backed by big people, big politicians, big businessmen, and they have pushed most of these farmers out of business. You know, if you go to most cocoa growing areas, the farmers who operate there, most of them are migrants. So they are managing these farmers for other big investors. So they have little say on the land. I have several reports of small scale farmers who spend years, tens of years, to grow cocoa. Just a day they go there and all their cocoa trees are gone because the lands have been leased for galamsey activities. That's one part. We have also observed that in recent times, because of the mercury and then the other chemicals that is used to extract the gold and then the diamond, the yields have come down drastically. For drinking waters in the cocoa growing areas, I cannot even talk about that. So in fact, we have actually exchanged our agriculture activities in these mining areas to the activities of Galamsey. We were those who started clapping for government when they set up this uh, Galamsey team because we thought it was real. We never knew, knew it was a scam because just some few months after the soldiers came to the place, drove these people out, we were all clapping. And people were actually preparing, thinking that the lands are going to be reclaimed for the farming activities. Within some few months later, you go there and the whole place is invaded again. Even lands that were not part of the Galancy areas, all those lands, currently when you go there, you see the lands being destroyed. So we think that government have not actually helped us. It was a good intention. Those who are in charge of implementation fail all of us, especially farmers. And I don't know for whatever reason that the government will be so passionate mm, in supporting or empowering these Galanceys to continue to uh, uh, push the farmers aside and then continue with their activities. And that is what we are experiencing. And what is the level of anger among your members? In fact, the farmers don't know what to do. Because in most of those areas, you go around the Orphan River and then the Prairie River area, most farmers who are members of Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana, when I interacted with them, they said they want to join the guarantee activities. But they are not strong enough to join. Okay, they will not even allow them to join. So most of them are actually moving to other areas to see whether they can get alternative activities. And I'm telling you, if the farmers have power, mm, they will attack any other person who go to that area.